Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the Topper Chef channel. Today we're gonna to make the traditional chicken tikka. Okay guys, so what I do is I cut my chicken very well uh, as uh, and the video that I've shown. So this is the chicken and I don't mess around with a lot of different spices. I love the spices very well. This one, the Shan Tandoori Masala or any Tandoori Masala which you get ready made just for how much else are you want for this? I think half an hour, half an half a packet of this will be just right. To this, you add some lime juice, about three four tablespoons of lime juice. So there we go. And then let it sit overnight for at least one day. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this up really well, so all the all the. Things are enveloped in this masala. Now watch out because this is, it looks red and spicy, but it's not that hot. But still, some people who cannot, their hands burn with spices and all that stuff should not attempt putting or messing with this like this. So this is what it is. It's gonna sit like this for at least overnight so all the masala goes in it and it's nice and tender and we'll be able to cook it tomorrow. Okay guys, there's nothing like well marinated chicken tikka when you eat into it. So now our chicken, which we had marinated just with the tandoori masala, I'm gonna take it and put it right here. Oops. Okay, so this is the chicken and I'm gonna add two tablespoons of yogurt. Now what yogurt does is now no longer we can say it's a tenderizer or anything. Uh, it is definitely a tenderizer but in this case the meat has been tenderized enough and what this will do is basically envelop the whole spices on it and it makes it a great difference in this. So to this we add mustard oil, about two teaspoons of, about two tablespoons of mustard oil. Just generously pour it and then mix it really well and let it sit down for about half an hour before you grill it outside. So now I'm gonna do is mix it properly Okay guys, the chicken tikka is now uh, ready in the sense we marinate it with the yogurt and the mustard oil. So now we got to skewer this thing and see this I always talk about doing this a bit differently. This is called butterfly. So in the meantime, this is not completely cooked but then afterwards you can always, that's what restaurants do when they want to recook it back again. So. This is called butterfly. You do double it up like this and skewer this about six to eight pieces and that will fit my grill. So here we go. Here we go. So this is the process. So this is one skewer and Let's put one more and that's what you got to repeat. Now this is about, now repeat the same process with the, the rest of the meat and grill it outside. Okay guys, so this is our chicken tikka and we are gonna, our coal is nice and hot. You can see how the smoke is coming out. And so we're gonna let this sit for about Five, five minutes on each side. See my skewers are kind of square. So every time what I do is turn it 
really each four rounds and it cooks all the way through so here we go so we just watch it cook it according to your temperature and don't burn it so slow cooking is really good here we go okay guys our chicken tikka is ready look at this so immaculate so beautiful just take it off the skewer and it's all done just remove it off right here take it off right here and it's all done if you like this recipe give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel the topper chef channel happy cooking Thank you.